Hey guys, welcome back to, <laughs> oh God, I sound so awful. <clears throat> welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings. Why do readings for celebrities and celebrities only? Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys are into that. Listen, I keep getting called towards certain celebrities, okay? I keep getting called towards Diddy. I keep getting called towards the Royals, okay? So please don't <laughs> don't get frustrated if you start to see a lot of the same people. But y'all, there is something like Spirit wants me to get out before, after, during the solar eclipse, like all around this time. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> try to get as many readings out as I can. And your girl got a new humidifier, so I will be using that in a minute. But first, we got to get you straight to why we are here, okay? Um, last night, I'm, I ended up seeing on the Neighborhood Talk that Christian Combs, a.k.a. King Combs, a.k.a. the father, excuse me, the son of brother love, <laughs> um has a lawsuit out against him where he's being accused of S assault and um dang D R U G G I N G a woman in a new lawsuit okay and um of course these are just accusations doesn't necessarily mean this is true I'm just gonna pull the energy in regards to Christian Combs a lot of people are shocked they're feeling uh, like father, like son sort of energy. <clears throat> Christian is an Aries son. I do not have the rest of his birth chart. If you guys have it, please, 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 please put it in the comments so that I can um, like see if I can get a little bit more from his birth chart. But I did meditate over his energy. And just like the reading I did with T.D. Jakes, I only got one song that came through. Okay. And I'm going to be honest. I almost fell out my seat at the song that came through, okay? So the song that came through for Christian is She's Playing Hard to Get by High Five. Okay. She's playing hard to get. She just won't admit that she likes me. She likes me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Child, let me start this off with some, some initials. All right, let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't know I was going to get that many. Um, wow, we got a lot. All right, we have the letter B as in boy. We got Q, P, N, H, I, A, O. Shut up. Did I just get woman? I know this is not going to spell out woman. If I is there an N? It sure is. Y'all. <laughs> wow. I keep hearing she's playing hard to get. But I literally just spelled out woman here. Okay. And um we also have W X E. We have O L D. This could be an older woman. It could be an older woman that is coming through in this reading as well. Um, keep in mind, um, Christian is the son of the late Kim Porter. Child. We got another P. We have an A. We have VX. We have another V. We have U. We have Z. We have B, Y. Um, something may have happened during a vacation. We have C, A, Y, I, H. PQ, okay? Um, he may be taken into questioning or somebody may be questioning him or a situation or this situation here could come into question. <clears throat> mm. I'm also getting UAB, okay? Um, UAB Hospital. So, oh... Was there a kit done? There may have been a... Keep in mind, everything here is alleged because, of course, we're dealing with public figures. It's important to remember that tarot is for entertainment purposes only. There may 
allegedly, if not in this situation, it could be something else that comes out in the news surrounding either Christian or somebody else within the Diddy clan, where there is a woman that may actually have full proof. She may have a R kit, okay? If you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting cup. And as soon as I saw cup, we got C-U-P. I'm getting like somebody may have allegedly put something in somebody's drink. Uh, this could be what the accuser is saying happened to them. I'm also getting something that has to do with ecstasy. My goodness. Y'all, I'm getting so many messages. I don't know if that could be so. Oh, I was just going to say, I don't know. But baby, there could be something on an app. And <clears throat> y'all know it's hard to kind of like show all these letters. Hold on a second. It's hard to talk about these and not show these to you all. But I am going to show y'all some of the ones that were spelled out so that you all can see it. I don't know. I like showing people. I'm telling y'all, there's something about proof. There is some proof that uh, that either this woman has or somebody has, and it's going to be shown because I keep wanting to like just show you all something as if I'm lying. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even lying about this. I, these things are coming out, but I feel like somebody says, uh-uh, I, I have proof. Let me show you what I have here. So I'm going to show you all a couple of the words. You have here woman and app. Ciao. Let's see. There may be something that comes out in the news in regards to the other son, Quincy. Something could come out in the news in regards to him. We got two cues. I don't know if he's going to be questioned about something else or something in reference to this situation. There may be talks of a baby or the unaliving of a baby. I don't know if there was an old fling or old flame, or if this woman was an old flame, because I'm also spelling out bay. All right, so there could be something in reference to a bay. And I'm also getting bib, so. All right, let's go ahead and put those to the side. <clears throat> so here's here's something I found very unique. So Kim Porter, who was a Sagittarius, was born December the 15th, and she passed, unfortunately, November 15th, 2018. And here's what I found so interesting, and I got to figure out, yeah, where is my nail? Child nail is gone. Okay, just up and left. <laughs> Where is my nail? Child, it just up and left the scene. Anyway, I found it strange and I didn't notice it until now. She was born on the uh, on the 15th. She passed on the 15th. So I ended up pulling these two angel number cards from the two different decks to figure out um, if this the 15s have some type of significance in regards to Christian or just something in regards to, to uh, Kim. All right. <clears throat> you have number 15 is I am wise. OK. And here's the thing. Usually when these numbers come out, it says I am wise. So this could indicate that Christian may not have been wise in an alleged decision that he made at some point in his life. OK. You have here your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you into contact with a variety of people. All who would benefit from your heart, your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. So he may end up learning from this situation that he's dealing in. Whether this learning the hard way, who knows, okay? In regards to this situation that he's currently facing. Also in regards to the situation that his father is facing. You also have here angel number 15, 15. This is all about innovation, focus, creation, progress, forward movement, skills, and goals. It says an opportunity, help, 
extra cash or other support is coming your way. So keep going and have fun when performing tasks. The most tremendous success comes from passion. All efforts will be rewarded big time. So as you guys can see, like on his social media, he's been very active as if none of this is going on. He's living his best life. This could indicate because he's innocent or this could indicate that he may be trying to present to the public like everything is fine. I'm getting daddy will take care of it. I'm also getting like money. <clears throat> he's got a lot of money. He's got a lot of money. Um, I mentioned in a previous reading that I did a uh, maybe about a few days ago or about a week ago on Diddy. Um, I picked up the card that came out, which was the Emperor card. And I mentioned that the sins of the father will unfortunately fall on the son. And we're just going to leave it at that. Now, like I said, this song freaked me out because <clears throat> even though this is an acute, lighthearted song, the way it came out in this reading kind of freaked me out a little bit, okay? Um, again, this is a song by Hi Five. They were a very popular 90s group. And shut the freaking door. I'm getting so many messages. Shut the freaking door. Y'all, look up the lead singer. Look up the lead singer of Hi Five. He ended up passing tragically. And I believe it, it I believe it might have been from Huffing. He was um, using like a can <clears throat> and he had some other type of substance abuse, okay? Give me one second. Let me pause because I don't want to keep um, clearing my throat. Let me see if I can get some water. Okay, sorry about that. His throat chakra could be closed because I had no problem recording the other reading, the one for T.D. Jakes, but all of a sudden in this reading, I'm like, <clears throat> <laughs> but anyways, um, back to what I was saying. All right. So, um, in this song, the messages that came through were, she just won't admit that she likes me. I can tell by the look in her eyes that she's into me. She's as shy as can be. Um, I don't think she can see my crush on her, but I can feel her crushing me. Even though she hasn't said it, I, I knew I'm reading her mind, look in her eyes, says more than any words can say. I know that you want me, okay? And I also wrote down the words, no means no, and hard to get. So take it how you want to take it. Ciao, take it how you want to take it. All right, so um, let me go ahead. Here's how I want to start off this reading. Let me start with what's the vibe. Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Christian Combs. Christian Combs. Christian Combs, please. Bottom of the deck, you have here karmics, okay? Third parties, haters, lesson learned. I mentioned earlier that he may end up learning a huge lesson from this situation, okay? He could have people around him, like yes people, karmic people that put him in situations he shouldn't be in, or he could be the karmic in this whole story, okay? All right? <clears throat> you also have here distance, all right? Divorce, ghosted, separation, Okay, so I don't know if there was some type of um, distance. I'm not going to pull from that yet because I, I can't pull anything from that. I feel like somebody was pulling away in a situation. So you also have toxic drama arguments, incompatible. Okay, so allegedly this person... Um, may try to distance himself from him. They may have felt that he was toxic. You also have laughter, happiness, joy, and healing. You also have your ways, emotions, worry, and fear. He could be in this energy. All right, we'll see what comes up in the tarot cards. And you also have nightlife, strip tease, gamble, and Vegas. This is somebody that has people at his feet, okay? Very successful. I think he's 26 years old living his best life. And again, y'all, I keep getting yes people around him, okay? Encouraging um, bad behavior. All right, give me some more messages, please, that need to come through. Let's see. Yeah. All right, we'll 
we'll go with that. Give me some more messages, please. I need to come through at this time. For Christian Combs, Christian Combs, Christian Combs, please. Dang, I feel like I'm slapping these cards down. All right, let's see. Give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please. For Christian Combs, Christian Combs, Christian Combs, please. Bottom of this deck, you have here sweet talk, okay? So he may have tried to sweet talk her, okay? You also have here, <clears throat> ooh, child, not thug. With the handcuffs and the officer right there. You also have getting readings, okay? So I noticed that this type of energy comes out a lot in his father's readings, okay? So this could indicate that he may in, be into this as well, okay? He may be somebody that's into seeing tarot readers. You also have self-love. You also have too late, okay? So he may be too late to fight against this situation if he is indeed guilty, all right? And then you also have divine feminine, okay? So he could have tried to sweet talk a divine feminine. I keep getting the energy of somebody like turning somebody down or maybe shocked that they got turned down. She's playing hard to get. That's all I keep hearing. All right, let's see what else we got. Moving on, it is thank you next, okay? You also have in their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzed. Again, this could be his energy. This could be the accuser's energy or somebody around him. You also have unfazed. And again, that's the energy I keep picking up from him. If I'm not mistaken, a news article said that he posted on his social media cap, like that's cap. And it could have been uh, allegedly in reference to this news that came out. <clears throat> Again, cap, ignoring, all right? Ignoring what the news is saying. And you also have here talking shit, ignoring people that are talking mess about him. Uh, he may still, I think he still has his comments open. All right, child, allegedly. Somebody may have some bad habits. Keep in mind, the accuser accused somebody of, what we're seeing here and we'll keep going all right so i'm also being called to, to start the intuitives first as well dear guy can you give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time please for christian combs christian combs christian combs please Lord, that song is playing over and over again in my head. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Not only did we get divine feminine, we got divine masculine. Okay, and this is his energy here because uh, this is an emperor energy. And I did mention that he's an Aries son. Aries sons stereotypically are very impatient, impulsive, very ambitious. They can come off as very confident. Okay, let's see what else we got. When they are low vibing, they can be very arrogant and pushy. All right, dear God, giving the most clear and precise messages that need to come through and very blunt. At this time, please, for Christian Combs, Christian Combs, Christian Combs, please. getting something in reference to a BJ, okay? If you don't know what BJ is, I suggest you look it up. <laughs> All right, you also have at the bottom of the deck here, things are beginning to fall into place. I don't know if somebody asked somebody for a BJ or forcefully allegedly gave somebody a BJ. I don't know. All right, you also have here, aware of your unique gifts. Hmm. You also have put your sword down and move on, okay? So he may be told, this is why I feel like I'm choking. <clears throat> he may be told to keep his mouth closed. 
Okay, you're also getting BS. I'm getting BS as well. So I don't know if he's going around saying all of this is BS or the public may find out that the whole story is allegedly BS. Okay, you also have crown chakra. Okay, so when the crown chakra, why am I, y'all, do y'all see that? I put my word, I put my cards down, face down instead of like this. I'm getting cover up. Back to the crown chakra we go. Now, uh, crown chakra, this could indicate that he may, um, I did pick up earlier, a lot of cards that talked about stress. He could be stressed about a situation, could be going through a spiritual crisis, could be feeling broken. Um, there could be something he's very fearful of. He could also be somebody that is very materialistic. You also have, you think you can handle me? <clears throat> you also have, I was in a lot of pain, okay? And as soon as I picked this up and showed you all this, I got Kim Porter. I mentioned um, mental health issues earlier. Doesn't necessarily have to be Christian, could be somebody around him that may have suffered or suffer with bipolar disorder. You also have here private property. You got Netflix and chill. Okay, this could have been a um, alleged Netflix and chill situation. Spirit is saying yes. You also have protection from harm. Okay, so Christian could be protected from harm. Okay, um, the accuser could be protected from harm. I did show you all Divine Masculine earlier. Child, shut the freaking door. I'm going to let y'all read that. And we're going to keep going. There will be some type of karmic justice. Okay? People getting what's coming to them. Child. This could be centered around a toxic woman. You got the faces that you make. You have joy riding, okay? So somebody could be somebody that goes joy riding. You have solar plexus. So his solar plexus could be off as well. When your solar plexus is off, you could be somebody that could feel a lack of energy. You could be somebody that feels guilty about a situation in your life. Um, you could be somebody that suffers with self-esteem issues or worthlessness. Who knows? Or there could be some type of digestive or liver problems. Something significant may come out in the news uh, September of this year, or it could be September 2025. This could also be centered around a Virgo or a Libra. You also have, I will be the reason you smile. Resisting an ending, okay? So somebody could be resisting. He could be resisting an ending in a situation, or there could be another person that's resisting. <clears throat> child, I'm going to let y'all read that. You also have UFOs, okay? So he could be into conspiracy theories. He could be somebody that believes in UFOs. And let's see. <clears throat> let's get some more messages. Give me some more messages, please. For Christian Combs, Christian Combs, Christian Combs, please. Clear and precise messages, please, for Christian Combs. Christian Combs, Christian Combs, please. Something could have happened on a boat. I'm getting buoy. Christian Combs. Am I giving the most clear and precise messages, please, for Christian Combs? Couple more card decks and we'll get started. Give me the most clear and precise messages, please, for Christian Combs. Christian Combs. Christian Combs, please. I can feel a crush in me. Clear and precise messages, please, for Christian Combs, please.
<laughs> All right, bottom of this deck here, you got sex toys. Okay, he could be into this. <laughs> Somebody else could be into this. All right, you also have oceans apart. Spirit says, in some situation in his life, there is no coming back from this. Ciao, ciao. All right, you also have items on the line and in love with the idea of love. You also have sacred bond and I can see a future with you and conservative. He may end up settling down soon or settling down in the future with somebody and becoming a little bit more conservative, whether that's settling down with somebody else or <clears throat> some situation. This just fell out at the bottom. I don't take accountability for my actions. And you also have here new beginnings. Okay. So again, I keep feeling like some something in the future in regards to him being a little bit more settled and conservative. I do feel like this situation is going to be a lesson for him in some way, shape, or form. Bottom of this deck here, you have telepathic communication. You also have here Pisces. So something could be centered around the Pisces. You also have Seven of Cups, okay? He could be a player or he could have a lot of options, okay? And you also have I Miss Your Lips. You also have here sudden return. I can't get past the betrayal and broken heart. You also have unemployment claim. You also have here dream chaser. All right, he could have got too serious too soon with somebody. You also have curb your spending. And you also have here get health insurance. So, I mean, this man is rich. I'm pretty sure he has health insurance, okay? So, there could be something where he may be switching it. There's something in regards to health insurance. All right. Let's see. Spirit, what messages are you trying to relay when it comes to Christian cones? What messages are you trying to relay when it comes to Christian cones, please? bottom of the deck, you have auric field. It says it is time to call on energy protection to shield, clear, and strengthen your aura. Didn't I get protection from harm card earlier? All right. And uh, it could be the protection from deceit because seven can be that. Or this can indicate <clears throat> something coming out in divine time and in regards to a situation. All right. You also have here natural born leader and power struggle. It says you were born to lead others. It is a part of your life path. Okay. So this Kim, is this why you keep coming through? Letting your son know that this is the direction he needs to be going in. All right. That he needs to understand that he needs to get into the energy of being a divine masculine. I'm going to pull some cards on her towards the end of this reading. You also have power struggle. You may be involved in a power struggle between two or more people. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, let me go ahead and pull some cards on him. If you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Child, what was that? Let me do that again. Much better. All right, clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Christian Combs. What is Christian Combs' current energy? How is Christian Combs currently feeling? You got four of cups coming out in the reverse, okay? So this could indicate that he may, if he's not in this energy now, he will retreat or he will withdraw, whether this is emotionally or physically, withdrawing himself from certain situations and certain people. Um, yep, and I even move my cup. Like, I mean, give me room, give me space. So he may find himself distancing um, from situations and certain people. He could be distancing himself from a cancer, okay? Um, with also with that four of cups in a reverse coming out in a reading, it could indicate that he could be somebody that's very possessive or stingy or greedy. All right. You also have here three of wands. All right. So three of wands at times comes out in a reading when somebody could be wanting to look ahead, um, waiting for their ships to come in sort of energy and the page of 
pentacles, okay? So he may be getting some news or something soon. Well, not soon. I feel like this is going to be something that's going to take a little time. Um, he could be somebody that's very ambitious. He could be somebody that gets bored easily, always craving something new. And you also have Empress coming out in the reverse. All right. Empress coming out in the reverse at times could be somebody that could be very selfish, very smothering. Um, he could be the type that's like this. Um, he could have somebody in his energy that is like this as well. And I'm also getting, yeah, just very codependent energy. And Six of Pentacles coming out in the reverse. Now, Six of Pentacles in the reverse is about self, some type of unpaid debt. I'm getting unpaid debt. He's needing to put a little bit more focus on himself. Again, this could all be in reference to him pulling his energy back. Yeah, speaking of pulling his energy back, I feel like he's closed heels off. It is so hard to stay connected to his reading. I feel so blah. Mm. Oh, oh, child. You do got the will of fortune. So something's definitely fated to happen when it comes to him. Something's fated to happen. Something's fated to come out. All right, because look at this, y'all. Will of Fortune with the Seven of Swords, okay? Let me tell you something. When you get the Will of Fortune to come out in a reading, again, this could be something faded. This could be something karmic. Um, he may be led towards his destiny. Who knows? All right, but again, that Seven of Swords coming out in a reading is about betrayal, strategy, and deception, okay? So there could be something he's strategizing in order for him to move forward. You also have that six of cups in the reverse coming out as well. And what it can end up meaning in this situation here is about accepting the situation for what it is. I cannot focus on this man's reading. <clears throat> I cannot focus on his reading. I feel everywhere else but here. I wish I knew the rest of his birth chart because this is somebody that I don't know if he's just checked out emotionally. I did get four of cups in a reverse about a person checking out of their emotions. Yeah, I feel like he's completely checked out. Let me tell you, I'm getting either that or this is somebody that he lives a life of privilege. Okay, now bottom of the deck is two of pentacles in a reverse. Two of pentacles in a reverse could indicate somebody feeling overwhelmed and having a loss of balance in their life. This could be him now, present, or in the future, but. I see, I can't even, my thoughts and everything are just getting cut off. What the hell is this block? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, why is there such a block? Hold on a second. Why is there such a block when it comes to, I don't know if there's somebody trying to control him. I did get um, earlier in the reading, I feel like there's somebody very bossy over him. Yeah, that could be a power struggle. Somebody's trying to make him be quiet. Like, don't you say much, don't say too much or keep your mouth closed. I feel, I don't know if he's talking to a lawyer, he's talking to his father or something. You got community, okay? Mature woman. Didn't I say older woman coming out in the reading earlier? Occupation, wealthy man. This is Diddy. Diddy, are you? Well, my nose is itching. Diddy, are you telling your son to keep quiet? Oh, I'm. T Listen, I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. You got a wealthy man in bad health. I don't wish nothing on anybody. But y'all, I just keep seeing things in the future where that's not looking really good when it comes to Diddy. And he could end up in a period of despair. If not, this could be him, excuse me, his, his son or both. Yeah, things being taken away. All right, the respect. Shut up. That's why community came out. Things being taken away. Community, occupation, the respect, all of those things. Mm. Wow. That, yeah, because I'm telling you, I, I felt I felt and feel completely disconnected from his reading. And I keep going back to BJ. So 
Take it how you want to take it. Somebody could have those initials, B and J or J and B. Let me see something. Let me mix these up really good. Because I'm going to pull some cards on Giddy. I wanted to do a reading on Quincy as well, but I'm going to do that at a separate time where I can meditate and see what comes through in his reading. Take my time before I get to his. But I do feel like there's somebody, somebody else's energy is trying to cloak his energy. So he won't speak. He won't do or say too much. Y'all, I, I don't think I've ever said those words before in my life. Cloak. I'm telling y'all, I think somebody's trying to cloak his energy. Y'all already know what I'm getting. If you watch my Diddy readings, you will know. <clears throat> I get a lot of black magic energy when I'm doing readings, and I'm being called to pull from that deck and see what comes through. Because y'all, I'm telling you, I feel a cloaking, like somebody trying to cover up or I'm getting chills so that he doesn't, so that he doesn't say too much. Oh, this is so creepy. This is so creepy. Before I pull from these for Diddy, I got to pull from my other deck here and see why it's energy of somebody cloaking somebody, somebody keeping somebody from speaking possibly is coming through. I'm hearing it again. The sins of the father pass on to the children. <sighs> Eerie. Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through for Christian Combs. Christian Combs. Christian Combs, please. Bottom of the deck, shut the freaking door. I'm hearing he's a wizard, Harry. He's a wizard, Harry. <laughs> All right, you also have here circle magic, okay? So there could be some circle magic involved. All right, you also have your soul fire. You also have yoga. This has been coming out a lot in readings. He could be into yoga. All right, this is mind and body practices to build strength and flexibility. You also have, shut the mother freaking door. Did I not say sins of the father passed on to the children? Shut the mother freaking door. Lineage spell. I'm about to get out this damn seat. Y'all, if this comes out one more time, then I do a reading on Diddy. I know some. Fire spell. I'm just going to move these over here. And we're going to get some questions on Diddy. Okay? Some cards on Diddy. Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Sean P. Diddy Combs. Sean P. Diddy Combs. Sean P. Diddy Combs, please. <laughs> Brother Love. All right, you have Love Trump, Trump's Hate. You also have Judgment in your favor. So judgment may go in Christian's favor. All right, you also have your March. Something significant could have come out in March. Something could come out in March of 2025. This could also be centered around an Aries or Pisces. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's an Aries. He's a April Aries. <clears throat> you have your karma in the afterlife. Oh, my goodness. You all, child, shut up. Not both of these coming out. Not both of these coming out. Judgment may go in, I'm getting judgment may go in Christian's favor, but judgment is not going to go in Diddy's favor. That's the second time that I've gotten judgment in their favor for Diddy. You also have, I can't replace you. You have breathalyzer test. Okay. So somebody could be getting a breathalyzer test. Be more positive about your life. Soak up the sun. You also have taken on too much. Okay, so Diddy could be taken on too much. And if I get it once, I'll get it again. Child. Okay. 
All right, dear God, giving the most clear and precise messages for Sean P. Diddy Combs. Sean P. Diddy Combs, please. Bottom of the deck, you have bad news travels fast, okay? And we know there's been a lot of uh, negative press that's been out in the news in regards to Diddy as of late. All right, you also have here, I'm trying so hard to forget you. I'm telling you, every time I do readings on Diddy, there's always a pull towards some type of love or connection he can't let go of. All right, you also have, I saged you out of my life. <sighs> Whoa. I'm getting that he's trying so hard, and he's tried so hard to sage Kim Porter's energy, but I'm hearing she is on your ass, isn't she, Diddy? She is on your ass. Because you know why? She don't play by her kids. And she's been trying to protect her kids from the other side. Child. He wants some relief from stress so bad. You got don't be afraid. This was your this was not your first time doing this. Oh, did it? It said something was not your first time. You also have them trying to back up all that mouth. I'm telling y'all, I kept getting BJ in the rating. Your light irritates me, okay? Mm. You also have here bad blood, okay? So he could have some bad blood with somebody. Somebody can have this with him. You also have muscular and Taurus. So he could have some bad blood with the Taurus. Give me the energy, please, around D. Dear God, give me the energy, please, when it comes to Diddy. Bottom of the deck, you have inside scoop, a closer look, nosy, up in your business. I'm telling y'all, them feds is not playing with Diddy. They all in every nook and cranny. You also have clout hungry. It says anything does anything makes shit up dramatic, okay? I'm telling y'all, there's at least two people. Y'all see that rat, that little mouse? There's at least two people spilling everything. Allegedly. You got dust it off, okay? Trying to dust the dirt off, the hate off. So I'm telling you, there's somebody around him that kisses his ass, and this same person that smiles in his face is the same person that's passing messages back to the feds because they got a grudge that they're holding against you, Diddy. Child, they lighting candles and everything on your ASS. And you got hot. Haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. She is on your ass, Diddy. Okay, it feel like, <laughs> what am I getting? It feels like, damn, what is that? Something over and over again. Nightmare on Elm Street is what I'm getting. Mm, my God. <coughs> Ooh. Not Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't think she could see my crush on her, but I can me. Give me some more messages, please, for Diddy. Diddy, Diddy, please. Did I give me some more messages, please, when it comes to Diddy? Diddy, Diddy, please. So, um, ooh, child, you got reckless sex, love, okay? So, he could definitely have been or is reckless when it comes to this. Round and around, this came out for him in a past reading. Cycles, triggers, lessons. Y'all, he keeps dealing with, facing, or seeing something, an entity or something over and over and over again. You got moving on, letting go, loving you, all right? The free card here. You got love, hate. Love, there could have been some love-hate relationship. Y'all, shut the freaking door. I done said it how many times in this reading? 
Look at this, spiritual chaos, ego death, downward spiral, and spiritual awakening. Baby, he is going through it. All right. You also have here, bottom of the deck, spam calls and text, okay? Blocking people or trying to block out distractions or the spiritual entity that is on him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's see what else we got. Bottom of this deck. All right. Bottom of this deck here, you have masculine energy, authority, discipline, father figure. That's what they're, oh, that's what y'all are pointing out. They were saying that the masculine energy was not divine masculine. Like they were saying that this is the overbearing. Like I said, bossy came out of the reading, everything. His dad has allegedly, Giddy has a lot of control over his son, Christian, it's not just Christian, though. They're saying Quincy. They're saying the other ones. He has a lot of control over them. Authority figure, discipline. Oh, yeah, he has a lot of control over them. <clears throat> I keep feeling like he's, con I just heard controlling their voice box. Like he is not going to let them speak out too much. Look at that waves coming out, emotions, worry, and fear. And this could be due to fear, fear of what they're going to say in regards to him as well. All right, some things that may have come out about the nightlife and the things that they do or have done. All right, you also have these same messages are coming out. Okay, look, just smile for the camera. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Just keep on having you a good time. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Show toxic again and distance, divorce, ghosted, separation. I'm telling you, you see how. You can see a figure, but it's like that figure is clouded in, um, what are they called? Smoke or something. This is what I'm, I'm feeling here. It's something that's clouded. I'm getting, I'm getting eyes. I'm telling y'all there's something about somebody keeping somebody from seeing something, seeing or saying something. All right. Um, let me get some future messages here for Christian Combs. Dear God, give me some future messages, please. For Christian. Dear God, give me some future messages, please. For Christian Combs, please. You got the temperance card here. So things may come back into balance in his life or he's being nudged towards this. A balance between spiritual life and your practical life. All right. Mm. Y'all, there's still something there about mixing of drinks or something. That's something about mixing of drinks, a potion. Oh, and they wanted me to point towards my cup. Listen, allegedly something has been put or was put at some point in somebody's drink. I'm going to keep going. You got the four of wands here. Okay. Four of wands. There's a community card again. There's a community of people that are encouraging or have encouraged some type of bad behavior. You got celebration and harmony. Okay. With that four of wands. Y'all, they're going to be celebrating, living their life as if ain't nothing going on. Okay. Or being told to do this. Knight of swords. Okay. This is somebody defending their beliefs or wanting to defend their beliefs. Ace of Swords spirit said it's the truth. Okay? Well, that Ace of Swords coming out. There's going to be some type of breakthrough. Look at all these swords. You even got the King of Swords. Okay? You even have the King of Swords here. Bottom of the deck, you also have the Justice card in the reverse. I'm telling you, Justice is not going to be in the favor of one of them. It's either going to be Diddy, his son, or both. Okay? With this justice card in the reverse. Now, this could also indicate somebody not being honest. And did not see, did not say earlier in the reading. I it was a card that fell out and it says, I do not take accountability for my actions. Child, that is a justice in the reverse. At times it could be somebody not taking accountability or not being fair. Child, child, child. Give me some messages from the universe to close off this reading. For Christian Combs, dear God, give me. Nope. I said I was going to pull some messages. 
I'm telling y'all, there's a block between, <clears throat> or there's trying to be a block between Christian Combs getting messages and downloads from his mother. I'm hearing, wake up, call. Caught you in the morning with another one in my bed. Don't you care about me anymore? There's a block, like... Oh, I keep feeling like there's a spiritual block, a cloak. I keep getting cloaked or, or something to keep Christian from getting messages from his mom. His mom, that is why 1515 is coming out. That is why 15 is coming out. His mother is trying to get him messages to wise up, things that will help him. She's tried over the years to get messages, but there could be some type of magical block. Black magic ancestral magic keeping him from getting messages from his ancestors child and now that's why the too late card came out man i knew this shit was coming together because i was freaking out i was like i hate this reading because i don't like when i don't feel like i can connect dear god can you give me any special dates for Kristen combs can you give me any special dates for Christian Cone, please. You have springtime. Something could come out of the news this spring. You also have let go of it all for now. Okay, so he's being told to let go of something in his life. You have in the nearest future, y'all, something's going to come out. It's going to come out in the spring or around that time. You also have time is still unknown. All right, about some certain thing in his life. And you also have around June, something significant can, can come out in spring. Something significant can come out in June. Something is centered around a freaking cancer. I keep getting cancer and stop rushing things, okay? Not surprised that came out. He is an Aries son. Stereotypically, they can be very impatient. I think I said that earlier in the reading. All right, um, let's see. Why is Kim Porter coming through so heavily in this reading? Dear God, why is Kim Porter coming so have so strong in this reading? What is she trying to relate to her son? Dear God, what is she trying to relate to her son? <laughs> I'm hearing she say, "Ask me." Okay. Oh, shut the mother. Y'all see that feminine energy coming through? Look at that queen of swords. Look at that woman pointing with that sword. She want, that's why I can't freaking speak today. She want her son to use his voice to speak up, to speak out. That she wants to be heard. She wants to speak up and speak. She, oh, I, y'all see, I can't even get it out. She wants to speak up and make her voice heard. She is being blocked in some way, okay? There's some type of block she may be experiencing. Y'all, this Queen of Swords card is direct communication. She want him, to, oh shit. She want him independent from Diddy. She wants him from up under his wing. This may have been something she tried to do before she passed. She tried to separate her children from that man. Yeah, that Queen of Swords is very perceptive. This is somebody with a clear mindset. Like, I ain't mixing no damn words. I said what I said. I meant what I goddamn meant from a feminine standpoint. She is not playing about her kids. I will fight even in death. <gasps> ah! I will fight even in death. Do y'all see? I will burn that whole goddamn castle down. She said, I will burn down. I have taken down that goddamn dynasty. Oh, Diddy, she ain't playing with you. Let me tell you something. Let me, oh, I'm getting chills. Woo! Let me tell you something, brother love. Y'all, I feel like I got an attitude. I'm going to say it exactly how it came out. Let me tell you something. Diddy, that tower, it ain't done. I'm taking all this shit down because I don't play by my kids, okay? I'm a grizzly bear when it comes to my kids. 
I will burn this whole damn situation down to get my children away from you. This is not a game. This is a wake up call. Wake up call, caught you in the morning with another one in my bed. Don't you care about me anymore? Don't you care about me? I don't think so. Ooh, you played with the wrong one, Diddy. I pulled out in his last reading about breaking women's hearts and thinking that this shit is a game. Some people take that shit to heart and they take it to their grave. This is why you got karma in the afterlife. She's still sending your ass karma even in the afterlife. She is not playing with you, buddy boy. She is not playing with you, buddy. This is your awakening. You cannot, ain't no way in the world, you can tell me this ain't no damn alleged. Diddy, your ass ain't sleeping right. And every time you do try to sleep, I'm hearing ambient or something. I'm hearing night. I got that in a previous reading. You taking something to try to get you some sleep at night because she on your ass all the time. Do y'all see how that woman looks like she's alive, but she's dead at the same time? With that finger pointed, I'm on your ass, Diddy. I'm on it. You ain't getting no rest. Ain't no rest for the Riri. I'm causing upheaval. I'm causing disaster in your life. I'm taking a, I'm doing a foundational shift. Everything will crumble. I'm getting Cat Williams. Everything he said about the industry falling, like the, that's why they keep pointing towards the solar eclipse. Y'all, it's going to get worse after the 8th of this month for Diddy and whomever else that I'm doing readings for. This ain't no joke, y'all. This ain't no joke. This is, this is not a joke. This is not a drill. There's a lot of unexpected changes now and in the future for Diddy and anybody associated with him. She taking everybody down. Everybody down. This ain't just Diddy. There's a lot more people she doing work on. It's not, it's not the, it, <laughs> This is fated to happen. This is fated to happen. This is the will of fortune. This is karmic. Okay? Ooh. Do y'all remember when Whoopi Goldberg did this in the color purple? Until you do right by me, everything in your life is going to crumble. Let me tell you something, Diddy. I don't know what you did, allegedly, to this woman behind the scenes, but she kicking your ass. You are going to pay one way or another. Oh, y'all, this is not a mother freaking joke. Woo, I'm getting so many chills. Listen, this reading here, this reading here, I honestly was probably going to delete this one. I was not feeling it. This reading here, she said, don't you delete this damn video. Her power, it, ooh, y'all, yeah, hold on. Ooh, these chills strong. Let me tell you something. Her energy so damn strong on this reading. Do you see those major arcanas? Let me tell you something about these major arcanas. These are happening whether you like it or not, okay? They're happening whether you like them or not. These are changes. Look at that moon card there. All your secrets are going to be revealed, Diddy, and everybody around you. There's also a Pisces whose shit is going to be on Jump Street. There's also a Cancer whose shit is going to be on Jump Street. All of your dirty deeds is going to come to light. You're dreaming about her, Diddy. You're having visions of her. The moon card represents that. You ain't getting no damn rest. Ain't no rest for the weary. Because you took me from my family, allegedly. Four of Wands is in the reverse. Okay? Four of Wands is in the reverse. Either she didn't feel a lack of support in a situation. She felt like you brought conflict into her home. Or allegedly you separated her in some way, shape, or form from her kids. And I will go through. Ooh, okay. I'm hearing and I will go through hell and high water 
to make sure you don't continue to do this. Y'all, there's another major arcana. The magician in the reverse. Everybody's going to know how cunning, deceptive, and crafty you think you are. But now he can't even think straight. Magician in the reverse is crap is, is scattered energy. But magician in the reverse is also somebody that could be into the works. You're not gonna tell me this man ain't playing with this shit. You or nobody else I hear gonna tell me this man ain't playing in this. And he tried to cloak himself around his children. But ain't I'm hearing baby, ain't nothing stronger than God. You mess with the right one. This time, Diddy. Why are these messages coming through? Dear God, why are these messages coming through for Diddy? You think this a game? She gonna show you this is not a game. It don't matter what you summon, who you summon, she is on your ass. She on it. She don't care. Do y'all see this coming out the second time in this reading? It's come out a few more times in Didi's readings. Telepathic energy. Lunar witch. Moon and phases witch. This is somebody that practices during phases. I got waning Gibeah's moon. 27th of last month. We got in this reading, I pulled the March card. Oh, oh, I'm getting a weird pain in the right side of my back underneath my shoulder blade. Oh, it's like piercing. Oh. That could be in reference to, oh, y'all, it just hurts out of nowhere. Oh. Hmm. You scared, did he? Because root chakra deals with the pain centered around the spinal area. Huh. It also talks about fear and being unstable. Illusion casting. Attacking the five senses. Shut the freaking door. To create hallucinations. Yo. Oh, I'm telling y'all. It's going from there to the center of my back. I'm telling you, this is root work. Somebody try to do some root work. And I'm hearing it ain't going to happen. Shut the mother freaking door. How many times this comes out in Diddy's readings? Diddy, you trying to bind yourself? Ooh, I'm getting so many chills. Whoa. I'm getting X. And I'm also being told that's all we need. So, okay. She's done. That's all she had to say. Dear God, can you give us your final messages, please? They need to come through at this time, please, for Christian Combs. Christian Combs. Christian Combs, please. Comparing yourself to others keeps you stuck in a cycle of guilt and shame. And it continues to separate you from your blessings. It keeps you small. Understand that everyone has their own journey, which always unfolds in divine timing. Your time will come. Spirit says, slow down, baby. Your time will come. He has a, I'm picking up somebody who always wants to either be like their dad or trying to be like other artists or trying to do something that is just not who he is. That's not your purpose. I'm just saying, this is what I'm picking up. He's trying to be something that he's not to appease, allegedly, his father. And Spirit said, that is not why I put you here. 
okay? You'll figure it out one day. It'll become clear with the help. I'm hearing with the help of your mom, but she wants you away from that man. If you're feeling stuck in areas of your life, whether it is in a relationship, a job, or just a situation, ask yourself what is stopping you from leaving. Didn't I not just say this woman wants this damn child of, of hers away from this man? It says, yes, leaving is scary, but sometimes it's the right step to take. Be brave. We are right beside you. She ain't going nowhere, baby. She going to fight for you. She going to fight for all her kids. Oh, man. This reading was hell of a lot different than I expected. Mm. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm a Sag Moon Diva. If you guys are interested in learning tarot or if you're interested in booking readings with me, all the information will be down below, pinned in the description box and across the screen if this reading has been edited. Yow. I can't wait to see what comes out in Quincy's reading because I'm, I'm floored. Bye, guys.